Hey guys, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will learn about one of the most useful CSS property, background size. So, the background size property is one of the most useful and yet most complex of the background properties. There are many variations and different syntaxes that you can use for this property. Basically, the background size CSS property sets the size of the element's background image. So, how exactly syntax works? Here, let's say we have body and in body, we have background with some URL, some image, okay, some dot JPEG, for example, okay, and how exactly background size works, we can give 400 pixel, 100 pixel, okay. So, in this video, we will see example that how you can use this property. Okay. So let's create one box, one div. Okay, div. I can give class some box. Okay, and let's add some CSS for that. Let's add width 400 pixel, height you can give 300 pixel, border 5 pixel, solid red. Okay, and Let's see how it looks. Okay. Now let's add some margin so you can see some margin from top and bottom. Okay. Okay. Now we will add one background image. Okay. Let's add one background image from some third party URL and see how it looks. So this is the image you can see is it set on background okay so you can use this background image size background size property with different four syntaxes the keyword syntax the one value syntax the two value syntax and the multiple background syntax okay so default value is auto so let me add background size auto and it will be a default value okay so in addition to the default value there are two keywords that you can use with background size that is cover and contain so let's see let me add first of all cover and see so when you add cover cover actually tells the browser to make sure the image always covers the entire container Right? You can see this image is covering entire container. Even if it has to stretch the image or cut a little bit of one of the edges. Right? So this is cover and that's the uh, very useful value. Okay? The second value is contain. Let's see how contain works. So as you can see, contain says to browser to always show the whole image. You can see the image is there, whole image, right? Even if that leaves a little space to the side or bottom, you can see the bottom space is there, right? So uh, the default keyword auto tells the browser to automatically calculate the size based on the actual size of the image and the aspect ratio. So let me add auto and this auto keyword will tell the browser that automatically calculate the size of that image and uh, set it as a background image. Okay, so here is the value cover, contain and auto. Okay, so if you only provide one value, let's say uh, for example, 400 pixel, right? Uh, so it counts for the width and height will be set to auto. So here, if you only provide 400 pixel, it will set the background size to 400 pixel width and the height will be auto, right? So you can use any uh, CSS uh, units like uh, pixel or percentage or view, uh, VH, that is viewpoint, viewport units as well as EMs, right? So this is for one value. For two values, if you provide the two values, the first will set background image width and second will set the background image height so let's see 
as you can see the 400 is set background width and 200 as height right so uh, like the single value syntax you can use whatever uh, measurement you want okay also uh, if you have multiple images background multiple background images like this then you can uh, use background size like uh, let me show you here 400 200 for first image first background image and second cover or content whatever it is so this value will be for first background image and this value will be for second background image right so this is very useful in uh, multiple background images all right i think uh, that's a very uh, short description and explanation for uh, background size and it supports almost all the browsers including ie edge chrome firefox safari and opera for both uh, desktop and mobile all right all right guys that's all for this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more videos you can visit my channel there are multiple videos on javascript css3 some on uh, node.js as well as on wordpress so, and if you have any question any concern or any feedback you can leave your feedback below this comment box all right thank you for your time